Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Apothecary Diaries. I have really, really enjoyed this anime. It's just been phenomenally like detailedly drawn. The storyline is always one guess and then another. Something else happens and something else makes you question the next. Now we know about our dad and I just want to dive straight in this episode. If you've been following along, make sure you hit subscribe. This channel around 85% of you know every single one of you that watch, I haven't clicked that button yet. If you could click the button, it would make a massive difference to the channel you obviously enjoy the content because you're here <laughs> that's my opinion anyway but let's get in this episode and see what we're gonna get off look at that look at how that's drawn this is exactly my point producing two to one the title as well makes you guess <laughs> As you thought, what? In order to welcome a new high rank, oh, okay. Oh. Natural reaction. ない話ではないです。私の父なので。不幸なのはその頃東宮妃だったアードヒの出産が時の皇后の出産と時期が重なった。アドヒの元に生まれた子は幼い子で亡くなってしまった。責任を感じ。ああ、そうさ、ですね。赤子の死因はこの間の毒を白い事件と同じだと思われていますが、それは違いますよね。あなたの言うその矢部医者は、お白
the audio on this man. What are you gonna say? Oh, do is take your two motives and make it one. What? それでもよろしければ受け入れてください。フォンミンが自首してきたのだが何か知らないか。何のことでしょう。書き物を集めさせていたようだが。ええ、何かわかるかと思いましたが。ルブゼルフのノート。フォンミンの動機はお前の言った
二人がもし取り替えられていたとしたら<笑>出産の際に must have been clear the country. 当時の皇后のもとに生まれた赤子の方が庇護を受けるということ何が正しいのか。だがその結果、己の息子が助かったのであれば、皇帝の弟は、皇帝の弟は、皇帝の弟は、皇帝の弟は、皇帝の弟は、皇帝の弟は、皇帝の弟は、皇帝の弟は、皇帝の弟は、皇帝の弟は、<laughs> oh. oh, God, man. Oh. <sighs> Dark episode with moments, you know, seeing her like that, seeing like a mother, really. God, that was. I missed that. So I was too busy feeling that moment. You heard she was kidnapped and sold off what? But what? <laughs> it can't leave me without a without a, a guess moment at the end that's gonna make you wonder what's gonna happen in the next. Which yeah. That's classic for, for this anime. What a powerful, emotionally gripping episode. Um, you can hear it in my voice. You know, the thought of the loss of a child is painful. I can never imagine the pain. And the twist and turn in that is the child might be Jinshi, though it was swapped. So Jinshi is her son. Which would explain why they look literally the same. Slight difference in hair colour. You know what I mean? An episode about loss, right? An episode about decisions and how those decisions have come to fruition. Um, powerful, powerful writing, powerful meanings, powerful emotions, powerful anime, you know? Let me know your thoughts and feelings about that episode. It's going to leave a mark on me, that one. Much love from me. Let's do this.